Yeah. Well, hello. Did you remember turning the mic on? Yeah, it's a green light. Yeah. What are we doing today, bro? <sighs> We're flying to Texas at 7.20 a.m. Wait for it, wait for okay. it. What's going on? I just wanted to give you guys a little context to what you're about to see. We go to Texas for the first time, second attempt, you know, work on not missing flights and stuff that time, this time, this, yeah, both times really, honestly. So uh, Valentine has asked us to shoot like a cocktail series, like a video series with them. We're gonna go shoot. Uh, that'll be on whatever platform they put it on. So um, we won't be filming like us in that or anything like that. Sean and I are gonna meet at Valentine's Cocktail Lounge. Thanks for watching. Just wanna give you guys a quick heads up. See you guys in a bit. Always waiting for you, dude. I'm always early, you're always late. I left, I plan on like getting here, like taking a nap in the parking lot or something. Actually. I got here about 45 minutes ago. Got, really. got on uh, 52. Uh, so right now I can only hope that Dan, when he edits this, starts playing the Bad Boys music uh, because they came for him and he's been sitting there for the last 10 minutes with his bag just out of reach. Yeah, right there. So, start to a good morning. We made it. We made it. We're actually outside the thing. All our bags are here. About to get in the car. Go get some coffee. Coffee. Soda baby. Wake up. Maybe my ear will pop. Maybe it won't. I took a nap on the airplane. I didn't. And uh, yeah, so that's what I did. Mark came and picked us up. You can't probably hear any of what you're saying. I'm on the side. I'm mm -hmm. kind of not. So. Yeah. Mark came and picked us up. We got coffee and food. And go to his gym, hang out and do things. So, finally, in here, you know what I'm saying? Hey Dan, what you doing? What you doing, Dan? Change flight. Automated system. So, we just kind of looked at our tickets and no one noticed through the, like, everyone looking at them that the return flight was 8.50 no, p.m. Mistakes were made. Nope. Dan, Dan did it. Nope. So Sean booked these flights. Uh, I have to go to Chicago on Monday at 5 in the morning. Sean booked our return flight for 8.50 p.m. Sunday night. So I'll be home in Midland at 2 a.m. I have to go to Chicago at 5 a.m. And I told my kid I was coming home Sunday to see him. So yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it is what it is, right? But... <clears throat> But we made it, so we'll uh, we'll let you know how that goes. You wanna kick it off? I'll kick it off. Kick it off. Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. And I'm Sean. And tonight, mm -hmm. we're on location in Texas at Reading Martial Arts. Oh shit. On oh. location sounds fancy it as doesn't shit. It does it Yeah. We're in a place we've never been. Nope. Kind of like doubly never been here. Yeah. Martial Arts gym. Yep. And Texas. Texas. Yeah. 
So tonight we're with Mark and Larry. Yep. Uh, they went and did a Garrison's Brothers store pick. Uh, and uh, if you want to explain a little bit, uh, you guys did it through your gym. Yeah. Yep. Through our gym, we went to uh, High Texas, which is where Garrison's is located at. It's about what four hours from here. So, so four hours close to the San Antonio area, and uh, we went out back in April, April, I guess, and we deer hunt. Oh, deer hunt. Deer hunt. Is it okay. really? That's cool. And that's Texas. That's, Texas. that's some Texas shit right there. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, probably yeah, at least to our knowledge, first and uh, first ever only ever gym, gym store to do pick. A store pick, ever yeah. store pick. Definitely with Garrett's we'll take it. Yeah. What'd you say? We'll, we'll take, take it. it. Yeah. Listen, and if I'm wrong, I, I don't care. So uh, this is actually the barrel that they got. So yeah, um, it's three years old. You said three years. Mm -hmm. Three years old. It is 47% uh, alcohol by volume, and Still? it is as dark as like Midwinter Night's Dram or like uh, She's got Angel, some color on Angel's yeah. uh, Cast Strength or any uh, like port finishing you've ever had in your life. Yeah. Dude, we're drinking out of theirs, dude. What is this, amateur hour? Okay, here, I'll switch you guys. There you go. Here, have that one. There you go. There we go. All right. We switch. Hey, cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Hey, thanks, thanks, for thanks for having us out. Uh, they're hosting us yep. and uh, allowed us to come out here and, and help us get out here, and they're taking care of us, so we appreciate that. Mark lot. was kind of us to, to take us to a, uh, a total wine, yep. and uh, he his hookup there brought us out a bunch of their store <laughs> oh picks. Gosh. And They've already what, seen that. Yeah, yeah and that, that was already in the beginning, which you guys saw. But it was really nice because it was like our conception of Texas whiskey was not what was given to us. So it was like this is really, really eye opening to see some like better Texas whiskeys. Like everybody knows how we feel about everybody that watches knows how we yeah. feel about Balcon Dry. Yeah. It's not normal Texas whiskey. Come, Come to find, find out. out. Yeah. Come yeah. to find out. That's just yeah. some bullshit. So it was really so, nice that we we kept I don't know that you're gonna stuff. find that in the back here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There's a story we'll tell earlier. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, we just kept getting better and better stuff, and it, yeah. it was nice to be like, ah, oh, it's good, but it's not our store pick. Yeah. I was like, well, okay, this is this is hyped up. And, and we like some of the other ones. Yeah. At, at uh, why do I keep wanting to say to Town Liquor? Nope. Total Wine. Holy it's shit. Super dude. hard. Life's hard. I'm proud of you. All right. All right. We can get into this. They got these cool ass uh, engraved lens. Yeah. Super cool. They're much better than ours, actually. So that's that's cool. <laughs> Okay. It's like that sweet malt. Lots of honey. Yeah, I go with that. I go with honey. Yeah. Honey and malty. Yeah. But the, so we've only had, what, we've had like three garrisons now? Yeah. This will be our third? Yep. So we've had the one at All the- All today. Which was their store pick. Total Wine's their store pick. Yep. We Dom had, Ray. what was it? Dom Dom Ray. That Dom shit. Crazy. Get that. Got that blue wax. Listen, on if it. there wasn't blue wax on it, it wouldn't be as cool. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. the blue wax makes it, man. But then you gave us the, you had those two at your house that we tried, the oh, honey. Yeah, that's right. We did the oh, yeah, yeah. Escalado or whatever. No, and then the honeydew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's that was built, uh, finished off in the, the wine cast. Yeah, the one, yeah, that's right. Okay. Which one was the wine cast? The yeah. Escadado. That, that was really good. That one was really yeah, easy. Yeah. That yeah. one's super good. Do you like the honey one? I like. I think I yeah. like the wine cast one more than the honey. Yeah, but I like the honey. The but the honey was a lot sweeter. Sweeter. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. wine cast had was like a little fruitier. I think. Right. But yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree. Like the, we don't get any Garrison in mm -hmm. Michigan. We don't get almost any Texas whiskey in Michigan. Oh. There's a lot of cinnamon on that. It so it is not as malty in the palate as it. I think it comes through on the nose. It's really good. Wow. She's spicy. Just for a three year. You know, 90 what? 95, 94, 96 proof? Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. I think uh, okay. out of the barrel was 113. Yeah, that's, I couldn't remember what it was. <clears throat> so, this is funny because I haven't told you this part of, of any of the story yet, but we said we were going to come, like, we posted on Insta the first time when everybody watching knows that we fucked up our flights, right? So, yeah. um, and then we got <laughs> down here. Somehow, and we figured out how to fly on airplanes and stuff. So, um, but <laughs> they actually the, let us on. Yeah, yeah they tried not to. We're here. Uh, so, but when we posted the first time that we were coming down, uh, there were uh, I think three people that hit me up about some specific Texas whiskeys, <laughs> yep. and they were Garrison Brothers non-store picks. And we never had mm -hmm. it, right? And one of the guys I trust, and he yeah. said, "What are you guys going to Texas to do?" And I go, "We're going to try this Garrison store pick." Blah blah. blah. 
And he goes, try to smile, man. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> you and he can't goes, lead us in with that. He goes, yeah. I, and I trust the guy. That's the worst part. Yeah. And he goes, try to smile. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, I've never had, he, and he said, I've never had the special Garrison Brothers yeah. ones. Mm-hmm. He goes, I've only had their normal non-single barrels. I hate them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, damn, dude, we like a lot of the same yeah. stuff. That's, mm-hmm. that's a bummer, right? Yeah. So Sean, I told Sean, I go, we got to prepare. We got to mentally prepare. Yep. <laughs> and we got to physically <laughs> prepare by drinking Texas whiskey, right? Yeah. Dude, and, and then we got sent stuff that we're like, okay, that's not bad. But it's that's okay. not great. And then right. like today it was like we went out, we had more things. It was like, wait, why didn't we get this? Yeah. Where was that when people were sending us stuff? So that, that was, that was eye opening. But this is the difference. The reason I'm breaking that up <laughs> is because this is so far from what I was, the description that he, this is so far from what he was depicting. Yeah. So like you drink that and uh, on the finish, there's an oaky, like a dry oaky, um, almost I'd say slight tobacco mm-hmm. finish, but the tobacco is like a nice sweet tobacco, and it's not that harsh peppery black tobacco. Yeah. Um, it, the up front's really nice and sweet and rich. Yeah. If I agree, I think that this has the flavor of like a barrel proof. It definitely drinks hotter than being ninety six. Is that what you said? Yeah. It, yeah, it definitely has a, a lot more heat yeah. in the palate than I think ninety six should be. Which is good. It's but it, but it also so the total wine one. Uh, that we had earlier was like 116 or 117 17, or something yeah, like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That drank like 100. I think this is richer than that. Yeah. And it's way less good. Uh, I think there's uh, there's more into this one. Like there's yeah. a little bit more sustenance. Do you see, see the similarity between this and yep. the Balmeray? Yeah. Yep. Yep. It, bit, huh? this, but it's different though. It, it's very different, but there's like that dark, rich, mm-hmm. uh, so, like savory flavor mm-hmm. that that has. But they're different profile. They're definitely right, different right. whiskeys. And if you put them next to each other, I'm sure you, you know they're very different. But you could definitely say the profiles are from the same place and yeah. stuff like you know mm-hmm. something like that. With that town liquor one, I wouldn't I wouldn't have probably said the same thing. I think that town. Why the fuck do I keep saying that? I don't know, dude. It's, it's I'm done, man. Yeah. I'm calling. What's it total line? It's yeah. TW now. That's what T-W. I'm calling it. You you'll probably get I'll a probably T-L say TL. Yeah. TL. It doesn't surprise me that. Maybe somebody else that is big into bourbons never had one that they care a whole lot for because that that cinnamon that you tasted on that mm-hmm. front end, that's kind of a, a signature garrison taste, I yeah. think. And it, okay. it's not a traditional profile on it. No, sure. Right? And yeah, so especially not in a bourbon, somebody yeah. Who, yeah. somebody who's like a bourbon perfectionist, you know, or a purist, I could see where they didn't, they wouldn't have a whole lot of, but that's kind of like their signature. Almost any of theirs has that, that strong, cinnamon up front hot, yeah you know like that hot cinnamon it does i think i hate to even say that because yeah. i'd hate for anybody to think oh no i'm gonna try it because now it's gonna taste like hot cinnamon i don't know like, <laughs> there, there's sometimes we say that. stuff that like some, sometimes <laughs> we use notes and stuff we don't like yeah, like yeah. sometimes yeah. we'll be like this is nutty and yeah. a lot of times we don't like nutty stuff but then sometimes we're like this is nutty but it's not overbearing yeah. right so, yeah there, there's it's all about the accompanying flavors that go with yeah. it like the cinnamon is built into this and it like really builds a good character for it it's not like it's, it's just, balance. yeah it's, mm-hmm. it's not straight cinnamon where you're like oh, okay that's astringent i don't like yeah. that right, right um this is like a good backbone that all the other flavors kind of sit on top mm-hmm. it's really good i think Ooh. that that i don't it's dude it's crazy to me this can be three years old yeah that's insane. Um, I know it's in a get small that, like, barrel. Yeah, that really strong tobacco flavor. You get like much, much older whiskey, um, and like or it, or it's very harsh and young. Yeah, those are your two options. It's usually never in the middle. No, it's never accompanied by like like a wave of yeah. flavor. It's always mm-hmm. coming by like hard spikes. You, you know yeah, I mean? you're either getting some young green notes and yeah. some like harsh ethanol with that mm-hmm. tobacco. There's which none. We have some of those whiskeys, and they're god awful. Yeah. And then, or you're getting stuff that's sat in a barrel way too long, and it's getting way over oaked, and you're just like, all right, it's. Not like that great, hard, leathery. Yeah. yeah, and like this just, yeah. It, you're like you said, it's been three years. It's really weird to wrap your mind around. Good old I, Texas heat. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that the, I think honestly, I think because it's so hot here, um, I think that, and, and it wasn't a smaller barrel, so service area changes in these yeah, smaller barrels. 100%. So, but because it's so hot here, I think the generally Texas whiskeys drink with this heat. And I think that's kind of like one, like that, and like that malty, almost mesquite flavor profile yeah. comes from like aging things in this state. It's definitely very regional specific. It to is, that. but it's interesting because usually that hotness is like a dry bitter oak mm-hmm. or a dry harsh oak, and here that warmth is more like a cinnamon or an allspice yeah. type thing. 
I okay. think too some of the stuff maybe you tasted that was sent to you from Texas, depending on where it came from. Texas is so large, we yeah. have those differences yeah. as well, right? So down in high, they have a lot more consistent heat. Okay. okay. So I was telling you about like how a few years ago we had a long drought in the summertime, but down there in high, it's it's a consistent heat for quite a while, and then their winters aren't aren't very cool. Yeah. They're not our winners. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't think anything in Texas is a Michigan winter. I don't right? think no. It's like Dude, our, our fall. Canada, the top of Canada doesn't have Michigan winters. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. I'll tell you what. Garrison has some super cool uh, labeling. Yeah, that, the wax that's is super point. cool. The nice big old star on the front. Yeah. Just feels like freedom, man. It just they feels have a like really freedom. cool bottle, bottling process as well. Yeah, you can volunteer to go down there. It's a great business mindset from it. But you volunteer to all their people that do their bottling are volunteering down there on the weekends. What? Yeah. yeah. So they aren't paying people. Well, yeah, they well, leave with a goodie bag. Okay. That's genius. Yes. They're like, listen, that whiskey costs us drastically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, right. yeah. That's awesome. Worth a bottle awesome. a day. Yeah. Very cheap. That's super cool. So we went down and did the visit the first time, and you know, people are down there. They're doing that, and people are coming around doing a yeah. tasting and doing a tour, and they're stamping bottles and dipping bottles and crock pots. And <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's awesome. That's cool. This is really good. Well, Dan, the guy who started it, Garrison, Dan Garrison, has a relationship with a lot of the guys in Kentucky, and he has a really cool story. Recommend you go and, and kind of find out his story and how he got into bourbon. And but I'll just put it this way: he's got a strong enough uh, relationship to where the still that started Blanton is, is at Garrison. Yeah, the oh wow! Still really? Yeah. yeah it's oh, that's cool. interesting. Yeah. That's yeah. super. He's cool. He's got a strong relationship. That's there. really cool. All I can say is I'm just really happy that I didn't have to smile and grit my teeth through this because <laughs> I didn't want to get my ass kicked by two people. Um, yeah. It's going to be rough. So, no, they told us they wouldn't hurt us. <laughs> <laughs> Under no. duress. But, yeah. uh, what? <clears throat> no, no, like, uh, like we said, what will we grade it? Let's grade it. It's an A. It's an A? Yeah. What's the price? What'd you guys say? 90. It's sold out. Yeah, it's you sold can't out. buy it. Can't buy it. <laughs> yeah. We sold the barrel yeah. out in two That's days. an A because that's probably one of the best Texas whiskeys I've ever had. This is the this is the best. Okay, so I would if I put that blue in this next to each other, yeah. I'd be super It'd be interested hard. to do yeah. those blind. That would be interesting to me. Uh, yeah. But the outside, so anything we tried at T hmm, TW today, anything we tried at TW, <laughs> I would trying. I would say this is better than we tried yeah. five or six te Texas yeah. whiskeys there. So this is definitely better than those. We tried the one there and you're like, just wait, yeah. just wait, yeah. just wait. Yeah. And I'm like, that one was good, man. My expectations are pretty low and that one was good. Yeah. And then, we, and now it's like, okay, I get what you're saying, dude. Yeah. It was nice to just watch you sit back and smile, then. Yeah. It's all right, man. We'll get there. You're we'll like, yeah, there. that's yeah. good, right? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh, we'll sure. Yeah, that's really good with you, man. Well, awesome. we appreciate you guys hosting hey, us. Man. Thanks yeah. for yeah. having us. Yeah. you guys like it. Come out. Hey, awesome. um, I'm glad we like it. Yeah, too. I'm glad we like it too. <laughs> yeah, I really am. Um, yeah, I don't know, yeah. man. What do you got? Do you guys want to shout out your gym? Yeah. Shout out the gym. Uh, yeah, man. First of all, I want to say thanks to all the students that bought this in, what, two days? Mm -hmm. Sold it out in two days. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. We have a great group of people, a great group of followers that just pretty much do, they trust in whatever we ask them to do and no complaints. So uh, that was really amazing. Cool thing to see online, a lot of people will buy the bottle and wrap their belts around it and post it, and that was awesome. So, you know, we appreciate all the support you guys have done for that. It's yeah. good, awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, cool. Hey, uh, did you shout out Open Bond earlier? No, we haven't said anything about it yet. So, we it's just, just been a, sitting here the whole time. We just did a we'll giveaway, we just did a giveaway the other day. Um, and Open Bond was one of the sponsors. We just want to say thanks. I've talked to the owner, Mark Ty, had some conversations with him too. Super yep. nice guy, Very great cool guy, guy. awesome yeah. company. Um, definitely like the product a lot. Definitely support mm -hmm. them. The whiskey, the the whiskey coffee, basically that's what it is. Yeah. The coffee's great too. Yeah. So for sure support them. They're a small business and they're growing and just trying to put it all yeah. together. So for sure. For cool. Sure. Anything else? Let's drink. You good? Let's drink. Let's drink. Let's drink. <laughs> we got oh, yeah. we got cigars. Yeah. We got drinks. Yeah. I somebody carried a box of whiskey in a few minutes ago. Yeah. All right, let's do the damn thing. See you guys later. See ya. <clears throat> See you guys. Chief. Feel like you're giving bad today? Yeah. Probably, dude.
We'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay, so, um, what do you guys want to see? What are you seeing? Do you, do you know what Jesus is? I haven't watched it. Let's put it back. Okay, man, so let's do this. It'd be kind of cool. We'll just show, like, um, we'll start from the mount, show a couple of things how to hold the person, and show you a couple of things how to arm bar and choke the person so you guys get a chance to see what it's like. And I'll try to relate it to that with the gi, without the gi, so you have a chance to uh, see what it's like. All right, so if I have right here. So how to hold the mount. So the mount is, is a position where I'm I can't a little bit. So that whenever you get to the position you hold somebody down, you want to make sure, I can't believe you fucking ate a lot too. Today. I did. <laughs> and then my knees were not touching the ground. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so you're gonna hold the mount. You don't want to be up too high. You don't want to be too low because the person's gonna try to bump you off of them, right? So I bring my knees up as high as I can. Try to sit up underneath his arms, all right? So I, and a lot of times people will try to push on you, so thinking they're gonna get out of position, they just try to shove you off of them, all right? So I'm gonna hold the arm and I place this foot up, my right foot up. I'm gonna place this hand on the person so that way I can lean. It makes this left leg a lot lighter to spin around the head. So I'm gonna spin my leg around, <coughs> lay back. And here's the arm bar. So the arm bar is the legs stay tight on the arm. The thumb points to the ceiling so the elbow joints exposed. I grab the wrist, I lift the hips, and I pull. And if you put this hand to your chest, seven pounds pressure breaks that arm. It's done. So you pull like that, it's done. Here you have it on. <laughs> Good. So grab, put your right foot up. Good. Now lean towards your right. Yeah, put your left hand on his shoulder. Oh. Yeah, so you're pinning on Oh, yeah, yeah. my hips are yeah. awful. <laughs> that level's right, right, so good. Man. So right yeah. here? Yeah. All right, put your feet You got to scoot through your body. Yeah, you yeah, got no space, yeah. huh? Yeah, like, put your feet together. Yep. Yep. And then, nice. All right, do it again. That wasn't bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. It looked way better. I got, I got the hips of like a 90-year-old man. You're swinging around a lot yeah. better. <laughs> you're here? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Put the right foot up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Oh yeah. Oh, just like yeah, you start. It's like constriction. Yeah, it's not like trying to get you to go. You're not gonna pass that right away. Yeah. You start thinking about when you're blocking that muscle, <laughs> and eventually you're gonna fucking go sleep. Yeah. You know. It's just like the snake, man. It wraps around the yeah. It's the same thing. Just the harder you fight. Yeah. Harder you well, that's the thing. Like, like at that point, it's like trying to pull. Yeah. It's like all right. It's not getting any different. It's not getting any better. Getting it's better. what the people want to see. <laughs> From here, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm completely stuck. Right. Yeah. And so from here, yeah. as you're moving and you're trying to get out, trying to reach for things, all right, I'm going to clear this hand. I'm going to put the deep. Oh, yeah. shit. Right. <laughs> and then from here, as I come out, I replace my grips. Then I pull my elbows together. Holy shit! Oh, 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 oh. Dude, no! <laughs> if, I ever, if that ever happened to me, I'd be like, fuck this, dude. <laughs> you know what? Here's my main card. Here's everything I got, dude. Here's my Again, card. Again, the guy rolled to you? <laughs> Later, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Let me buy you a drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Holy shit. Get out of that high, man. <laughs> Get out of this house. Yeah. Imagine that. Like, you're going to go and you're panicking. Oh, you're God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 I gotta be calling it up to this. Right, yeah. That's the biggest thing. Like I said, when I, when I said, go ahead, get out of this. You, yeah. I said, because how? I can stay calm yeah. and you're struggling to find yeah. something. You're, I'm like, we're flailing. Yeah. 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 I get to pick when you give me a better opportunity. Yeah. Make sure you tap. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Make sure you let go of your dad. Or maybe not. Welcome back. We're back in Michigan, obviously. So, um, yeah, we had a really cool trip to Texas. You guys just saw on video. Looks like that's a little in frame here. Um, what a cool trip full of cool people like and cool experiences. It was about a day and a half. Um, I know I'm going to keep this short because I know that the video is long. Uh, if you made it here, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end of this. Um, there's a lot that happened in the trip. We made it, we didn't make it the first time, we made it this time. 
Mark was gracious enough to reschedule with us so we could come down still. Um, Mark and Larry, two of the coolest guys you'll ever meet. If you get to meet them, um, uh, you're going to feel the same way. They're hum super humble, awesome people, personable people, great people, uh, very giving, uh, very selfless people for sure. So, gosh dang it. So, uh, thank you guys for having us down. Um, it couldn't have been a better experience. We couldn't have had a better experience there. Uh, and it, it's due to you guys. Uh, Mark and Larry ended up showing us some really cool stuff on the last day uh, before we went to the airport. Uh, they, they showed us some jujitsu and they let us train. Uh, we trained with some of their students. We got to roll with a couple of their students. Everything they showed us, um, they showed us a bunch more than is on video, but I was trying to keep the time a little bit short. Um, they showed us so much stuff. And they let us try it all on them and they, they show it to us and then uh, we get to do it to them, you know, like try these chokes and these different positions out. Such a cool experience. Could not be happier. We, Sean and I talked about it for probably 25, 30 minutes at the airport. Just talked about just that one part, just when we got to like mess around and, and they showed us some jujitsu stuff. So such a cool thing. Um, we got, we came down initially to drink this bottle with them. And uh, I was super nervous, and this whiskey's awesome. Like this, I posted on Instagram that this bottle of whiskey uh, was like the, the whiskey that showed me that Texas whiskey can be good whiskey. So um, this bottle's awesome. Uh, Larry and Mark picked this out together with a couple other people. Such a cool, such a cool experience we had. Can't say it enough. I wish I had different, cooler, better, awesomer words. Um, because cool, like me saying that over and over, just isn't enough. But it was one of the greatest experiences I've had. It's, it's due to this channel. It's due to Mark and Larry. It's due to, uh, you know, like all the, like this community. Mark was just said he just wanted to hang out with some cool people that he thought were like-minded, that, you know, he thought he'd get along with. Dude, I'm so happy that he reached out. We could not have had more fun. Um, next time, Mark and Larry are going to come up here, Michigan. Uh, maybe in the wintertime or something like that. But, yeah, just to wrap it all up. Great bottle of whiskey. Mark and Larry and uh, the couple other people went did an awesome job picking this. They said they had a great experience at Garrison Brothers. Sounds like Garrison Brothers is a really cool place full of cool people as well. Uh, thanks for showing us stuff. Thanks for training with us. Thanks for opening our eyes to a whole new thing, a whole new world of cool stuff. So uh, if you get a chance and you're in Denton, Texas, go check out Reading Martial Arts. Uh, literally, just awesome people there. Just cool people. Can't say enough. So yeah. Garrison Brothers, he sent us home with this pick that we reviewed that you saw a little while ago. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I, I can't, I'm still like, I'm like in a weird like hue of happiness about this trip. Uh, can't wait to hang out with Mark and, and Larry again. I know Sean can't either. So, Sean's been looking at jujitsu gyms up here. Sean's ecstatic, dude. Sean's, I wish Sean was here to do this. My family met, surprised me at the airport, so unfortunately we didn't do that. That was it was an awesome surprise. I got to see my son and wife because we were late because Sean misbooked the return flight. Anyway, um, I got to see them, so we didn't get to shoot the outro. So I'm doing it right now. It's Wednesday night. You guys see this video Thursday. So yeah, but uh, if Sean was here, he'd be gushing just as much as I am. So cheers, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, I'm drinking this because Mark bought me this awesome bottle of uh, double rye barrel pick. It was distillery only. It's uh, double rye finished in honeyed gin barrels. And he bought me a sweet high west glass that I took in the house and I'm drinking, there's whiskey in the house, that whiskey in it. Um, but I came back out here to record this real quick and I forgot it. So I'll drink this instead. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, Larry. Thank you, guys. Thank you, for everybody that was involved in that trip. Thank you for helping us have an awesome time. Thanks for being just the coolest people on the planet. Cheers, guys. It's good for real. And uh, Mark and Larry are monsters too. <laughs> they are badasses.